Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can make your character swing his sword when he presses the left mouse button. Because at the moment we've got our weapon system all in place, uh, but as of right now they can't swing the sword and they can't do any damage with it at the moment. What we're going to be doing is focusing on getting it animated in today's video and then in the next one we're going to be focusing on setting up like an ability for it, dealing damage and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, what we're going to do then is open up the animation blueprint to start with and we essentially need to create a swing state for this weapon. So when they swing their sword, we need to, we need to tell it to play that animation and there has to be a animation state for it. So go into your state machine and then from movement you want to drag out and you want to add a new state. This state is just going to be called um, sword underscore attack for now open it up and then inside of here you want to find the animation that you want to use you've got a couple different animations for attacking as part of your sword and shield animation set you've got some attacking ones you've got some slash ones um, there's loads the one that i'm going to use for now is just simply called play sword and shield slash with this what i'm going to do now i've connected this up and it's going to play the animation i'm going to drag back from sword attack back to movement as the player needs to be able to go back to the movement state once they have actually swung their sword and played the attack animation. What we need to do now then to be able to tell it to go into that state is pretty much set up some transitional rules. So what we need to do is pretty much tell it to when the player uses their left mouse button tell it to go from the movement state to the sword attack state. So what I've got to do then is close this for now open up my third person character, uh, not my third person character, but my sword character, and then on the left mouse button, or even one, it's up to you. Um, for now, I am just going to use ability one, for example, and that's when you press the one button. What we're going to tell it to do is set a variable to true, and then once it's done, set it to untrue. It's pretty straightforward and really simple. So I'm going to create a variable to start with, and I'm just going to call this um, slash sword and then we're just going to keep this boolean type to boolean as uh, sorry the variable type to boolean default variable should be untrue and then when it goes to pressed you want to simply set slash sword to true and then what we want to do is pretty much add a little bit of a delay and this delay is simply going to be the duration of the animation and then after that we are going to tell it to set slash sword back to untrue. So I need to get the length for this delay so I'm going to open up my animation real quick so I'm going to go to my sword character animations and I'm going to choose the one that I used and for me that was just simply sword and shield underscore slash so let's see if I can find it so we have got strafing no we're not after any of this, so let's see if we can find it. We've got so many in here. Uh, easiest way to find it is just type in slash, and then you can see we've got it here. Open it up, and then in the bottom right, when the window opens, it will tell us the length. So the length of this animation is 1.5 seconds, which looks pretty good. So having said that, what I've got to do now then is pretty much go back to my sword character inside the blueprint for it. So go to blueprints, sword character, set your delay to 1.5 and that's all good. So what this is doing now then is pretty much telling it to set the sword to attack, give it a couple of seconds, 1.5 seconds to be precise to play the animation and then set it to untrue. So what we need to do now then is hook up these variables into our animation blueprint to tell it to play that animation when this variable is true. So what I'm gonna do is quickly compile this and then I'm going to close it and then go back to my character for sword, open up the animation blueprint and then what I'm going to do from here is set up the transitional rules. So going from movement to sword attack, I am going to get a reference to that thing, uh, that variable, but we can't do that. So what I've got to do is go to event graph and then over here as sword character, you want to get uh, slash underscore sword and then you just want to promote this to a variable so that we can use it so simply name this uh, slash sword 
and then hook this up just at the end here and that's all good. If we go back to our movement transitional rule, we can now use this, so get a reference to it and hook it up just like that. Go back to our state machine and then for going back from sword attack to movement, open this up, hook up slash sword, and then drag it out and type in equal boolean and make sure this is unchecked and hook it up just like that. And this is essentially the very basics for getting your sword to attack. So if I left click or press 1 even, you're going to see it's going to slash my sword and that's all good. It's going to do the attack once and that is perfect. Now there's still a couple of issues with this, that being that we can do it um, you know, multiple times so I can keep using the ability um, over and over again. I can also do it while moving and I also want it to stop the player moving if they try to use it. So what I'm going to do is just maybe do a few fixes to my character real quick. So go to your blueprints, sword character, and what I'm going to tell it to do just before it plays the animation is I'm going to tell it to stop the movement. So stop movement immediately and then I'm also going to disable movement for the character so they can no longer walk. So if I compile this, this should stop the player moving when he uses his ability. So press 1, it stops him and he uses it. Now he can't continue to move, so what I'm going to do is open up this blueprint again. And then what I'm going to do at the end is simply set movement mode, character movement, and set this to walking. And then afterwards, if we press play, use my ability, and then let go of it, he continues to run and he can use it over and over and over again and that's all good. So, there is one other thing that I need to do before all of this code that I've got here and that's that I want to check to see if he's already, you know, using his sword. Because if we try and use it over and over again, it's just going to mess things up big time. So at the beginning, we are just going to run a check and that check is going to be to see if slash sword is not, uh, sorry, hook up slash sword into here. And then if it's true, if they are doing it, we don't want it to do anything. So break this link by holding down control and click. And then for false, hook it up to disable movement. And what this is essentially doing is if they're not slashing the sword already, go ahead and start the sequence and make sure that they do go and do that. So if we compile this again, press play. And then if I slash my sword, you can see it plays it and that's all good. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for a basic animation system for, you know, our first ability, which is going to be slashing the sword. That is pretty much everything I'm going to be doing in today's video. Um, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.